Today is an epic day of filming. This is the third one. But this one is a cook with me. I hope it's not like teaching granny how to suck eggs and you all think I'm being rude. But I said I'd give it a go and give it a go I will. My name's Fawn and this is my channel. Um, I try to make it a happy place doing lots of nice things. Uh, I hope you would like to join, I suppose. Um, so, <laughs> please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave me a comment. So today I'm going to make a really basic beef dish, beef mince dish that I do. Hubby loves it, it's his absolute favourite and it's really good on a cold murky day and you get leftovers. I don't know that it has a name, we call it cabbage and mince. So, these are some, probably not all of the ingredients, if I know me I've forgotten something. So we have sweetheart cabbage. This was the one that I bought in Aldi. I also have this one that came from Sainsbury's. I mean, it's so small, it's ridiculous. So I may not use that one. A large pack of mints. Now this is bigger than I would normally get, but my hubby really likes mints just <laughs> cold in a dish, can you believe? So I'm gonna do more mints than normal and then put some to one side. You need tomato puree. You need a stock cube. You need mozzarella cheese you need white onion i cheat and buy the frozen chopped onion i find it works better for me a can of tomatoes then you have spices which is cayenne onion salt uh, chili powder and garlic powder and i'm just looking and i know i've forgotten something so um when i figure out what it is <laughs> added into the video <laughs> okay so starting off with a bit of extra virgin olive oil which is allowed on the diet again i've never done one of these videos guys so please <laughs> be gentle i have an argo so it takes a while to get tempy uh drives me mad in fact and straight into that then i put the mince i think you guys in america might call it ground beef i don't know what it is in australia possibly ground I don't know where we're all from, but in the UK we just call this minced. And as usual, you've got to sort of break it up, toss it around. And normally at this stage, I would have a lot less mince in the pan, and I would be throwing in herbs. But I don't want to hear the mince or the spices that of the mince that hubby is going to eat. So because um, I don't know what he's going to want to eat it with. So if I've you know chunked it up with chili powder or something. <laughs> It may not work with whatever dish you want. So I just cook some off and I put it into a little glass container with a lid in the fridge for him. And I'll carry on with the rest of it for me or for us. The only things that I add to this before I take my husband's portion out is generous salt and pepper. Um, unseasoned. Uh, mints I think is pretty horrible so don't be afraid of the spices ladies <laughs> I'm not <laughs> so I've removed a whole lot of mints for hubby that will go in the fridge and he puts it with all manner of things when he just wants to um, bump up his protein meat score. I have to admit ladies, I couldn't, absolutely couldn't do that. So I put a bit more oil in the pan and this is where we start with the spices and the onion. As I say, I am lazy. I do my, uh, I use frozen chopped onions so that I don't have any of the work that goes with it. So, nice wadge of onion. Nice wadge of onion in there. And it's so convenient, these bags, because you just put a clip back on it, it's in the freezer, no problem. I like anything that you can keep in the freezer because, I mean, it's as fresh as can be, because it's frozen. It's usually about this point that I put the oven on. I put it on 190 fan which um, I'm not sure what that is in American. 190C fan and just let it start heating up to where I want it. 
See, it's not too much onion. Onion is a bit naughty on keto. You've got to be careful with it. Um, so some cayenne pepper. Look, <laughs> go for it. Um, some hot, hot chili pepper. Some onion salt. Yeah, because onion is sweet, um, especially when you cook it and it caramelizes, it, it is very sugary, so it can be quite carby. So I would love to put a lot more um, onions into this, but I know that it will impact on the um, carb count at the end. The last thing you saw me put in there was some garlic granules. So just let that cook down a little bit. And while that's cooking down and incorporating, I'm going to chop up my sweetheart cabbage. I'm just standing here thinking, I wonder what awful things you guys can see in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm hoping it's reasonably tidy. <laughs> I just very roughly cut this. Um, I don't fuss with it a lot, I just chop it down, because it has such a long cooking time, the cabbage will be lovely uh, when I need it, so just rough cut, there we go, that will do, the remainder will go out to the animals, and obviously give it a wash. While the cabbage is straining, I put the mince back in. Oh, actually, that's still a bit much. Let me just take a couple of handfuls out. Oh, gosh, that's hot. Yeah, I'll put some more in hubbies. I don't know about other people. I'm sure you're going to say I'm wasting the best juices. I always strain my mince after I've cooked it. I just have real heebies with, um, yeah, with the fat that's in it, which is stupid because I'm on a diet that encourages fat, but I just have heebies about it and just stir that in, flavouring up the mince, and break up any big chunks that I find. Oh, it's smelling lovely. I could eat this with a fork. And just give it a few minutes for the flavours to all come together. Get my washed and drained cabbage and just give it a rough cut again in case there's any epic bits in there. Okay, so this is the thing about right. The hardest thing about this recipe is opening the can of tomatoes. Give that a quick stir in. Nothing burns too badly. And then I use the can. <laughs> I fill that with water because it gets the remains of the tomato juice, cleans the can ready for recycling. And it's about the right size, the can, for the ratio that I want for the stock cube. So I can never open the stock cube. Here we go. Okay. Oops. I usually, is this disgusting? Swiss the stock cube pot in the same water. It's warm, that's why to get the remains of the beef flavour out. So there we go, so that's a clean can <laughs> and a clean stock pot. And you can see it's very watery now, but that is perfect, believe it or not, because I want it to cook down a bit. Um, and if it doesn't have enough water in it, before you know it, it's a burnt mess. So the last few things that I put in before I leave it is a good squirt of tomato puree and <laughs> some more salt. and some more pepper. So that's that and I let that cook down for a little bit and I'll be back when it's cooked down. While that's cooking down, I know I'm really close now aren't I? <laughs> I thought I'd show you what a keto fridge looks like at the moment. So here we go. So on the top deck we've got fruit, we've got cream, we've got sour cream, we've got ghee because I cook with ghee quite a lot on the keto. And some of the meats that I showed you from that Aldi haul are here. 
all piled up. This middle shelf is what we call snacking. Um, it's not just snacking, we add them to things and in fact I will be adding some of this to that before I finished. I always have a whole roast chicken. I know it's cheaper to buy and roast myself, there'll be people screaming. This thing just lasts for ages, I mean what is the date on this? Um, it's dated to the 17th of January and I bought that a couple of days ago so I don't have to worry. And then the bottom deck we have here we have the chicken drumsticks you saw, some more lettuce, some sausages, chicken wings. Unbelievably cheap chicken wings and they are the easiest meal to do. Um, mints that I just cooked and put in for hubby, more mints, some romaine lettuce, a bit of steak, some bacon and then this bottom drawer is full of cheese. So yeah that's a quick snippet of what a keto fridge looks like. So it's actually, you know, it's pretty good. You're allowed so many things that there is no excuse for being hungry on a keto diet. Um, although you're gonna have your moments. <laughs> and that's what I came in for, some peppered salami. Then it becomes an assembly job. So I throw all the washed, cooked, not washed, uncooked I should say. I throw all the washed cabbage into a big dish. This is, I call this my lasagna dish. I don't know um, what the proper term for it is. But you can see that it's a reasonable size. Pour on the mince mixture. toss the mints into the cabbage a little bit. Just close that. The heat's unbearable. Just toss it a little bit. I don't go too mad. Then on goes as much as you like of mozzarella, shredded mozzarella. I use plenty. We're both cheesy people. Um, so I don't hesitate because again, Fat is encouraged on the keto diet. Put plenty of this on. There we go, that should be about enough. And now I top it with salami. I want the salami, whoops, to really cook down, let the flavours go through and crisp up, because crisped up salami is gorgeous. And I usually find that it's the bit that um, my hubby wants to steal off the part, off the dish, before I've even served it up. Oh, I've done that wrong, hang on. Another one down there. Whoops. So that's it. That's it assembled. It goes in the oven now, and I put it in the oven usually for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to clean up. And once it's finished, I'll bring it out and show it to you. It's really simple, but I tell you what, it packs so much flavour. It's really filling. You can eat as much as you like. You're getting your veg, you're getting your meat, you're getting your cheese. So you've got your proteins, your fats, everything you want in there. And you can eat it without feeling like you're being naughty. So it's out of the oven. It smells. I wish you had smell of vision because it smells amazing. And this is what it looks like juicy, full of flavour. I mean, yeah, I could just totally go for a big bowl of that right now. But I'm not allowed at the minute. Although on keto, I mean, I could if I wanted to, but I am trying to stick to proper meal times. And it isn't quite dinner time yet. So that's my cabbage and mince. I don't know what to call it. Pie? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. I hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't too simple and basic and boring. And um, let me know if you want me to do more recipes or not, because this was, again, another first for me. I've been doing so many firsts just lately. I'm shattered, can you see? I am so, so tired. I've been really busy today, but I didn't have the best of night's sleep, so um, it's showing on my face. <laughs> Isn't that lovely, the way it shows on our face? <laughs> okay. Bye guys.